Well hi again folks, now you may have seen my videos radio controlled batteries for free basically about vape batteries which are discarded all over the place nowadays that's a 1S, that's a 3S I made that's a 2S, all on my channel but going one step further how about RC batteries for free complete with charger so what's the story? I found this rechargeable vape in the street discarded and you may not know but they have a very useful little battery inside so this one's even got its own USB charger USB-C so I've just pulled it apart it was a simple matter of pulling this cap off it's the first rechargeable one I've found in the street I've found loads I must admit just pulled the cap off that's what you've got but anyway there it is in this one a really chunky little battery which of course is a 1S it's a 600 milliamp lithium ion not lithium poly lipo they're lithium ion but perfect for small radio control models um, just checked it with a meter see if it's I mean if it was completely dead I'd probably throw it away but it's got 3.5 volts so it's a bit less than a fully discharged lipo which is 3.7 so I might in fact I'm probably going to give it a charge with its own charger so I reckon what I'm going to do is cut these wires here the red and black obviously the connections that go to the cell and the other connections are in connection with the circuit which has a small pressure switch so that when people inhale it turns on a heating element which vaporizes the liquid inside but anyway I'll take that off I'm going to plug in a USB-C now and see if I'd imagine a light's going to come on let's see what happens whoa look at that so you could actually build this into a radio control plane that needs a 1S and even build it in with its own charger how about that right in fact I could put a meter on and see what voltage it's reading now now it's actually connected yeah it's reading 3.64 so it's obviously charging right so there it is I've taken that bit off that little grommet and that is actually the pressure switch that activates it when the user sucks on the mouthpiece so moving on an hour or two took the little module hot glued it onto a bit of foam board soldered on a JST female and now I have my little self-contained lithium-ion vape battery charger plug that in plug it into your phone charger and bingo of course it's only going to be good for charging a 1S but it bear in mind the one that was in there was 600 milliamp so I'm sure it'll cope with at least up to 600 milliamp vape batteries and if you're not familiar with these these little 1S vape batteries are absolutely perfect for projects like my latest construction which is converting this five pound throw jet foamy into a radio controlled model plenty enough power for these 8520s like this look at it it's going to shove my um even pushing my um, helping hands round. If you want to find out more about these vape batteries and RC use of vape batteries, please check out my vids. I'll link them at the end. But that's all for now. Hope you found it useful. If you did, maybe give it a like and why not hit subscribe if you want to see the maiden of that little foamy jet conversion of mine. Plenty of other interesting stuff on my channel, particularly lots of little glider conversions, drones, all kinds of things. Anyway, I'll stop rambling on. Hopefully I will catch you all again soon. Bye for now.